So, Leslie, I'm going to ask. I, I probably know the answer, but have you kept up with sports this week? That's a stereotype, and no, I have not. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to have to get you guys a book or something. I mean, I, all right, let's see. Sydney, what do you got? what do you got for us this week? Well, you guys, we have a lot of exciting Hampton athletic events to get to, starting with the volleyball team. Our Lady Pirates make their first appearance in the NCAA Division I tournament today. In just a few short hours, they will take on seventh seed Stanford Cardinals in the tournament at Maples Pavilion in California, which is pretty much a home game for Stanford. But this is the first time Hampton has ever played a match against a team in the Pac-12. Let's hope our ladies start the record off with a win. The Lady Pirates basketball team don't usually lose at home, but coming off their fourth straight MEAC championship, Hampton has started pretty slow. Our sports reporter, Brandon Theo Dorsey, has the story. He's going to get going, so sling it over. Bennett puts up a three and makes a three. And that was how last year's contest ended with Alyssa Bennett taking a three-pointer from the corner, giving Hampton the win, 61-58 over American University. This year, Hampton looks to defend its 16-game home winning streak against American University here in the Convocation Center. Let's see how it plays out. Since 2009, the Lady Pirates are 42-6 and six at home. It's no coincidence that's the year David Six took over as head coach. Hampton was the favorite, but that's why they play the game. It was a defensive struggle from the tip, and the Lady Eagles led at the half, 22 to 21. The Lady Pirates did make a slight push in the second. Nikki Hamilton ended 8 for 18 from the field, and here you see her get a steal and a finish. She had a team-high 20 points, but American held the lead through most of the second half. The Lady Pirates shot a shade above 25% from the field. The last time Hampton lost to a non-conference opponent at home, Rihanna's and Drake's hit, What's My Name, had just fell from the top spot on the billboards. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the streak is snapped. The Lady Pirates lose to the Eagles 58-46 to and fall to 5-3 and on the season. Brandon Theo Dorsey, WHOV Sports. Our men's basketball team will play the first MEAC game of the season on Saturday against the Rattlers of Florida A&M University. So far, our Pirates have a 3-5 record. The Rattlers are at 2-5. This is the second MEAC conference game for the Rattlers as they play Norfolk State tonight. Hopefully our Pirates will pull out a win tonight and start off games in the MEAC with a winning streak. Well, you guys, Florida State quarterback Jameis Winston was cleared of all his charges today. As you can remember, last year he was accused of sexually assaulting a female student. The State Department decided to clear charges and Winston, along with his top ranked Florida State team, will take on number 20 Duke on Saturday. Now it's time for the rest of national sports, what we've all been waiting for. You guys ready? Let's go. The number one team has gone down again. Top-ranked Michigan State took their first loss of the season to unranked North Carolina last night. The Tar Heels dropped 47 second-half points en route to a 79-65 win over the Spartans. Just last week, North Carolina beat number three Louisville and then lost to UAB. So maybe this was the win the Tar Heels needed to get things back in order. And there's a new big boss in the NBA. It's not the Heat, it's not the Pacers, it's not even the Spurs. Sitting at 16-3, the Portland Trail Blazers hold the best record in the league. And with back-to-back -back signature wins over Indiana and Oklahoma City, they have become a team to be feared in the Western Conference. Last night, the Blazers outscored the Thunder by 18 in the second half. LaMarcus Aldridge dropped 38 points and 13 boards, giving him our WHOV Player of the Game tag. And Portland picked up their ninth win in 10 games, 111 to 104. How about those Blazers, Sean? Mm. Well, I, you know, I kind of think they're the real deal. You know, I, I have Damian, Little, Damian Lillard on my fantasy squad, so I'm kind of very glad every time he does well. So. They are doing well. Right, you know. 